In this video, we'll examine what is the logic behind three cardinal rules of inequalities. Now, the first rule is, in my inequality, if there are certain expressions that doesn't change sign, I'll remove the expressions from the inequality, keeping the sign. So in my inequality, this x square plus 1, it is always positive. And sin x minus 3, it is always negative. So I'll remove it. And then I can write it as minus x minus 1, x minus 2 less than 0. So the roots are 1 and 2. So this is minus, plus, and minus. I need minus. So answer to this question will be x belongs to minus infinite to 1 union 2 to infinite. Now what is the logic behind this rule? So what I'll do is I'll take up each expression. So I'll write x square plus 1. Now x square plus 1 is positive for all x belongs to R. So it cannot take a negative value. So it will always be positive for all x belongs to R. Now sin x minus 3, minimum value of sin x is minus 1. So minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. And maximum value of sin x is 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So its value will always lie between minus 4 and minus 2. And therefore this value will always be negative. So it is negative for all x belongs to r. Now x minus 1, the expression changes sign at x equal to 1. So when x is greater than 1, it will be positive. And when x is less than 1, it will be negative. In the same way, x minus 2, it will change sign at 2. So when x is greater than 2, it is plus. And when x is less than 2, it is minus. So again, I'll take up a number line. So the critical points are 1 and 2. So I'll mark them on a number line. Now, when x is less than 1, in that case, it is positive, it is negative, it is negative, and it is negative. So plus into minus into minus into minus is minus. Now this is plus into minus, plus into minus. So there will be plus and then it will be plus, minus, plus and plus which is minus. So I will get minus, plus and minus. Now what is happening here is if I will multiply first two expressions then plus into minus will always be minus. Minus into minus into minus is minus. Minus into plus into plus is plus and minus into plus into plus is minus. So effectively these two expressions, they do not contribute to the sign change other than this minus sign. So that is the reason we remove the roots of the expression, which doesn't change sign in rule number one. Now we'll come to rule number two. So the question is x minus one square into x minus two into x minus three to the power four into x minus four is less than zero. So rule number one says, these positive expressions, they won't change sign. I'll remove them. So the two roots are 2 and 4. So rightmost is plus. So it is plus, minus and plus. I'll need minus. So this is x belongs to from 2 to 4. Now rule number 2 says, because it doesn't have an equality sign, then we need to remove real roots of the expressions which we have removed in rule number one from the solution if they are included in the solution. So the two expressions which you have removed in rule number one have the critical points x equal to one and x equal to three. Now one, it's not included in the solution. Three lies inside the interval. So that means I need to remove three. So answer to this question will be x belongs to from two to four except three. Now what's the logic behind it? So again, I'll write sign chain for each expression. So first I'll take x minus 1 square. Now critical point for x minus 1 square is 1. So at 1 the value is 0. But for all the values of x, it will be positive. Now the sign of x minus 2 changes at 2. So after 2 will be plus. 
and before 2 will be minus. Now x minus 3 to the power 4, again it has an even power. So critical point is 3, but it is an even power. So sign doesn't change. It will always be positive, but then it will take the value 0 at 3. Now finally, I will write x minus 4. So critical point is 4. So plus, 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 and then minus. Now again, I will take a number line. So the critical points are 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now when x is less than 1, it is plus into minus, plus into minus. So it is plus. Between 1 and 2, it is plus, minus, plus, and minus. So which is again plus. Now between 2 and 3, it is plus, 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 and minus. So it is minus. And between 3 and 4, it is plus, 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 and minus. It is minus. And then finally, it will be plus, 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 and plus. So again, it will be plus. Now what do I need? I need less than 0. Now less than 0 is... Negative. So negative lies in this interval. Now as we can see there, its value is negative when x lies between 2 and 3 and when it lies between 3 and 4. Now at x equal to 3, the value is actually 0. So that means my answer will not contain 3. So I need to remove 3 from the solution. So that is the logic behind rule number 2. Now for rule number 3 question is x minus 1 square x minus 2 x minus 3 to the power 4 x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. So now there is an equality sign here. Now rule number 1 says I can remove 1 and 3. So the roots are 2 and 4. So it is plus minus and plus. Now rule number 3 says if your inequality has an equality sign also, then we need to remove real roots of the expressions which we have removed in rule number 1. So that is x equals to 1 and x equal to 3 if they are not included in the solution. So 3 it's already there, but we do not have 1. So I need to add 1 to it. So answer to this question will be x is either 1 or it lies between 2 and 4. Now we'll examine the steps in rule number 3. So I'll take a first expression, which is x minus 1 square. Now, because it has an even power, it will always be positive. Except at 1, it will be 0. Now, x minus 2, it changes sign at 2. x minus 3 to the power 4, again even power. So there's no sign change. But at 3 will be 0 and then it is x minus 4 critical point is 4 so there is a sign change at 4 so again I'll take up a number line I'll mark all the critical points so this is 1 2, 3, and 4. When x is less than 1, it is plus, minus, plus, and minus, which is plus. Between 1 and 2, it is plus, minus, plus, and minus, which again is plus. Between 2 and 3, it is plus, 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 and minus, which is minus. Between 3 and 4, it is plus, 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 and minus, which is again minus. And then, when x is greater than 4, it is plus. Now what do we need? We need less than or equal to 0. Now less than 0, it lies between 2 and 4. And equal to 0, it is 0 at 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that is, answer to this question will be 
x is either 1 or x less than 2 and 4. And that is the logic behind rule number 3.